Hello everybody, my name is Larissa and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little ladybug. Um, as you can see she's very shiny and um, she has those um, cute antenna which are totally edible um, and I'm going to show you how to make it in a minute. Um, so to make it first we have to start with uh, fondant or gum paste, whatever you choose. I'm choosing gum paste because it's more convenient for me. Um, you're going to have um, to roll um, two balls, um, one larger and one smaller, in red and black. And um, start rolling and form um, an oval, like an egg shape. Not, not as fair. Um, then put it flat. Make it as make it a flat bottom. Um, next, um, we're gonna use um, any knife really um, to make indentation, indentation right in the middle. Cut but not to the end, so it's gonna look like a coffee bean right now. See? Um, now we're gonna have um, to moist. Um, one end of it where we're gonna apply the head just water and uh, now I'm uh, kneading and rolling uh, a piece of black fondant gum paste um, as I'm rolling it um, I'm not um, making it perfectly um, like a, a sphere. I'm, I'm making it like um, a football shape, see? And two ends of it I'm going to bend backwards, see? Like horns. This is um, where it's going to be attached to her head, see? So now I will attach it and flat on the bottom again. So this is what we have so far. Hope you see that. Um, now, the fun part. So we will have to um, make your eyes. Um, I'm gonna make two indentations um, on her face. I'm using a rubber sculpting tool. See, it's flexible. Uh, but you don't have to, you can use anything like a toothpick or um, a back end of a paintbrush or whatever. Um, then I'm going to take some white fondant, just a little bit, and make two balls out of it. Small ones. One, two. You can use um, sugar pearls, but not pearls like sugar dredge without the pearl sheen. If you have any, well, I'm gonna use gum paste. Make sure they equal. And um, apply just a tiny bit of water inside her eye sockets. And place those balls inside. Okay, make sure they're round, nice and round and flatten them a bit too. So at this stage you are gonna need um, either a black food marker, I don't have any, uh, but I'm using a paint. About the paint, um, because um, gel food color it dries really like it has a long dry time. To uh, make it faster um, I am mixing my um, gel food colors with confectioner's glaze. Confectioner's glaze um, is a um, commercially available product. Um, I buy mine on eBay, um, somewhere from Europe. Um, it is, um, it's not expensive, first of all. Um, and uh, you can apply it to chocolate, uh, on um, sugar sculpture, on blown sugar, on pulled sugar, like um, anything um, to make it look shiny, to make it look like varnish. Um, 
or you can mix it with colors and uh, make yourself uh, fast drying colors to paint uh, because it dries like in a few minutes um, so what I'm doing again is that I'm mixing a bit of gel paste food colors with confectionery's glaze and you always have to keep it very tightly closed because it because confectionery's glaze dries very fast so this is my black paint and the same thing with uh, with uh, white paint so I, I made myself <clears throat> some white glaze also see I mark it so it's not a paint it's glaze so I will have to be careful to use brushes because I have to use um, the brushes needs to be cleaned very thoroughly uh, after that because it, it gives you know it the brush might dry if you don't uh, clean it fast enough uh, and the consistency of my paint is um, it's close to gouache or something okay so um, I'm gonna um, again you can use uh, a black food marker but I'm gonna use um, my black glaze my black paint and I'm going to um, make her eyes um, I'll have to turn it towards myself to see what I'm doing so I'm making tiny little pupils see can you see that if you can uh, and at the same time I'm going to put black spots on her back um, as an alternative um, you can use a tiny pieces of rolled fondant but it's so time-consuming to glue those dots especially if you have a lot of uh, ladybugs to make you're gonna be tired of putting those little black dots so it's much easier to, to do with the paint or if you don't have a paint uh, then um, again edible markers would help so I'm putting her making you know, some spots on her back I'm gonna give you quite a few you can, oops you can make as many if you want if you want so a little mess here it's okay and um, this paint um, is going to dry completely in about 10-15 minutes it's gonna be dry to the touch <clears throat> 